the game they won, though. <sighs> yeah. Key, I was stressed. True. I was stressed, Key. If you could, if you could have seen me last night, I was pacing, walking. I was in the dead sweat, armpits all sweaty. That's where I was at last night. That's the kind of mindset I was in last night. Just, you were nervous? Oh, jeez. Oh, you nervous? Wow. You, you, you originally said that Duke didn't have an opportunity or a chance. Now I'm there Why in the you? Elite Eight, buddy. First off, I don't like that you use your Coach K voice. And every time I hear Coach K talk, I just see you and I hear your voice. It's really annoying for me now. But I, I have to tell you, though, Max and Key, three games ago, man, I would have told you there was no way in hell this team was even going to get to the second weekend. Like, no way they would get to the second weekend. Thought they would lose to Michigan State. I remember talking to Trajan and, and Ellen Brand, be like, man, we're not that good. Like, it, this is going to be so disappointing for Coach K's last run. Hear me when I say this. This team can win a national championship. I have never once thought this entire season that I would hear myself say, Duke can win a national championship. Like, the way they've handled the last two games down the stretch, you, you talk about their last game, Michigan State being down five or six points with three minutes left to go in the game. I was like, here we, this is, this is game-winning time. What are we going to do? Jeremy Roach stepped up. And then even again, last night, Texas Tech, grown-ass men. Like, you're playing against men who are physical, going to zone in the second half. Three minutes to go left in the game, Jeremy Roach again. Pa Paolo Bencaro stepped up. This team can win a championship. I never thought I would hear myself say that this year on Coach K's last hurrah. Well, Jay, you've talked about it in the past when you said you need gritty guard play, right? Leadership from the guard position. You've talked about how for the regular season, when you take over the point for Krzyzewski, you've got a lot to learn. It's not natural at first. But Roach looks like he's in a rhythm now, and Coach K addressed the point about the team and the process at the, pre the postgame presser. God bless him. What, what a great, great group these kids the They've they've grown up so much in, in the last last twelve days. It's uh, such a such a joy. It's it's an amazing thing. It is. It it actually it is. And when you talk about like a guy like Jeremy Roach getting knocking down fifteen points. The, the grit, the grind, the hustle, all of the things down the stretch that Duke put together against Texas Tech is the reason that they are now moving on, Jay. Okay, if you could see me last night, I know there was a meme all over the internet of me when we're losing to North Carolina because I'm sitting there saying, time out, time out, time out, because North Carolina was like an 11 0 run. I'm yelling at the TV screen last night, please, Lord, go to zone. And Coach K, like, started coaching. When he went to zone and I started seeing Texas Tech, Settle for threes. I'm like, oh, you're giving us a gift. You're settling for threes. And, and that's when Duke was able to take over the game. I'm just, look, big shout out to Arkansas. I mean, since Nola Richardson, you know, Eric Musselman has these guys back, we have to see them in the Elite Eight. But, man, like, I, the confidence level that I have for my team, I'm always going to show up for them, right, Key? Same way you show up for USC. But it was kind of like a, a, a fake showing of the chest. I was like, yeah, I have to say this is Coach K's last. I, I believe it now. I believe it. It's real. Duke will play Arkansas, Jay. As you mentioned, it's time for Straight Talk brought to you by Straight Talk Wireless. So they're going to play Arkansas because Arkansas beat Gonzaga every year. Gonzaga is supposed to do something. And by the way, I, you know, I'm, I'm the guy who's going to stand up for them. I think they do. They win games in the tournament, just not enough of them. What happened to Gonzaga, Jay? Chet Holmgren got into foul trouble, and Arkansas took it right to them. I got to tell you, man, Coach Musselman, as much as people say, you know, he didn't pan out in the NBA, this dude is a coaching genius. I mean, the, the, the sets they were running last night offensively, defensively, the way they were making Gonzaga play faster, the physicality in which they play, Arkansas is the real deal. And, and, and Key, I know we're going to get in, in this today about Gonzaga, man. I just I want them to get over the hump. Like, I love Mark Few. I love what they do. People are going to use the fact that they play in the West Coast Conference and they always have a dominant record and they can never get over. It's still hard to win the amount of games he wins each and every year. But, damn, it just feels like they can't get over the hump, man. They can't. 
there's no question that you're going to hear people get over, all over the coach. They're, why wouldn't they? Every single year, and especially since I've been working with you, Jay, the first thing I ask you is, why Mark, <laughs> Mark Few and Gonzaga? What's up with that? Oh, man, they're good. Oh, they're they the number one seed, man. They roll. They, they got NBA guys. They got number one classes. Every damn year, though. Like, literally, every year. And I hear you, Max. Oh, they win a game or two in the in the in the uh, tournament. They go all the way to the elite eights, and no, it doesn't matter. They still have not been able to finish the deal. No question. At some but point, but... at some point, enough's enough. But Keith, they were just in the national championship game last year. They were just right <laughs> you, there. Look, you see what this is? This is an L. Uh, hold that. Uh, go, hold that. They L. Took hold that. An L. It doesn't matter. They took an L. Still, to don't this day, think... Seth Greenberg was on with us last year. Oh, Key, you know, it's gonna, uh, uh, basketball, they, 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 they're great. They lost. Seth was on with us the other day. Who's going to get upset? Well, not your, not your Zags. They're going to be rolling. Guess what, man? They at home with Arizona now. Man, I, I think of coaches, and he, this guy it really applies to, in Mark Few's case, who become a victim of the expectations that they create. Right? They take something from nothing. They make it really good. Now people are like, well, take the next step. I'm not saying Mark Few is on the level of some of the guys who've won championships. But he took nothing, made something, and now people expect that, more, that's Jay. His, hey, Max, yeah. that's his job. Okay, but he does it Max, well. Max, he is on the level of some of these tremendous coaches. L- listen, we, do you know what people said about Jay Wright? Before yep. he won two champion, people were crucifying Jay Wright. Oh, he's not on the level. Then all of a sudden he wins two, and it's like he has two. And what other active coach has but two or Jay, more? Only Coach K. Jay will. Jay Wright has, hasn't been the head coach at Villanova for 23 years and hadn't been in the program for 30 plus. Come on, man. I understand is, you want to. I understand you want to take it easy, soft landing. I get it. I'm but not. Mark Few, come on, though, man. Like I'm seriously. Just telling you, Keith, Gonzaga used to be a mid-major, man. Like, I never looked at Nova right. as a mid-major. Like, they are, it looks like they're, it's like they're part of a Power Five conference. That's how we talk about Gonzaga now. It, that's because of Mark Few and, and his crazy and, and, winning percentage. And if you, and if we are talking about them as a, a I guess, blue blood, Power Five, whatever you want to call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should, they should act like that and finish like that. And they're, they haven't. Villanova has a history. Way back to 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 to, to Raleigh Massimino, long time ago. They have a history. Gonzaga's history is with Mark Few, and guess what? They ain't going. They just like everybody else at home. I'm just saying. All I'm doing is pointing out that every single year, and I should have bet on them. Why didn't you tell me, Jay? I should have bet on Gonzaga to lose. No, to lose. To lose. Yeah. To lose. I mean, it was. Man, it it was nine and a half for them last night. Man, it was it it, it was bad. I'm sorry, Arkansas took it. You talk about punching somebody in the mouth, Arkansas punched Gonzaga in the mouth. Absolutely. Straight talk, wireless, no contract, no compromise. Keyshawn J. Will Max is presented by Progressive Insurance. All right. Know what? Should throw this open to the Go ballers, Duke. guys. Go Duke. Hey. 888 hey. say ESPN. 888 729 3776. Does Mark Few Wepa. need to win a national title? Does he need to win the national championship just to get key off him? 